Hey guys, this is Ketan again, and we are solving the beginner level problems from Codechef. We have already completed five of these problems, and if you haven't checked this out, please visit the playlist in our channel. So today we are going to solve the sum of digits problem. Let's jump into it. Okay, uh, the problem code is F L O W double zero six. and the problem statement is you are given an integer n write a program to calculate the sum of all the digits of n okay yeah so uh, yeah we have to calculate the sum of all the digits of n so in the ones place in the tens place we have to get all those digits and then uh, sum up, sum them up and then output that answer let's see the input we have test cases Uh, t is given as a test case number, and then following t lines will be having n value. Each of the line will be having a unique n value, and then we have to calculate the sum of the digits in the n, right? So we have to output that. So here are some constraint constraints. T is at least one and less than one thousand one always, and n is at least one and always less than. 10 power 6 okay guys yeah so this is an example uh, test case so let's jump into the problem right away okay guys so since we are doing in python this will be very easy if we are using any other language then the logic would differ i'll do one thing i'll explain uh, the easy easy way in the python and uh, i'm thinking about doing another series in c or java probably c uh, because it is very different from python so that will that will help a lot in the building the logic case the harder way okay guys so let's do it in the simple way in python so we got t and n right so let's take t uh we are converting the input into integer because input is always a string in python and then we got we'll do the loop for i in range of t so we are just going through each of the test cases and then we take the n yeah here generally i would take the integer but in this case I'll take the input as it is because we want the string over here. I'll explain why that is. So we got the string now, right? So what we'll do is while n is not equals to this because this will represent an empty string. So while n is not an empty string, what will be do? What we will be doing is. n oh ah, okay sum plus equals to okay we need to define a sum value okay uh and it will be initialized to 0 and each of the n will have a different sum value so we are just defining it inside the loop rather than outside the loop all right so while n is not a empty string sum plus equals to int of n of minus 1 so n of minus 1 basically represents the last character in the string which will be the last digit okay so if we take 1 2 3 4 5 1 we will be getting 5 and then we will be converting it to it into integer and then we'll be adding that to the sum okay guys after we do that we need to cut the string right we need to eliminate the last Uh, last character from the string so that we don't keep repeating the same thing again and again so we need to eliminate this character then the string will will only be 1 2 3 4 4 and uh, the while loop uh, while loops end condition will come to realize in some in some sequence of steps okay guys so we, how do we do that now n should be reduced so n equals to n of this this is string slicing uh we are starting from the zero but we are only going till minus 1 and we are not including minus 1 over here over here 
which means it it will go till the end, but it will not include the last one. Okay, guys, the last one is five here. This is three here. So it will not include the last one. So this will be initialized to n because we are doing this because we can't just eliminate the last thing because strings in Python are immutable. So we need to assign a different object to the n again. We need to replace the string with another string, and we are replacing it with another string which doesn't have the last character basically. Okay, guys. So this will uh, result in uh, this will result in the while loop going through all the characters, all the last characters one by one, and then adding them to the sum. And when the loop is done, the end will be an empty string because we are eliminating all the last characters, right? At the end, we'll only have then an empty string. In that case, it will exit out of the loop, and then we need to just print the sum. Okay, guys. We are going through the test cases, taking the n, processing the n, and then we are just printing the sum. Okay, let's see uh, with the custom input. Fifteen, nine, and eight. That's fine. That's co correct. Let's submit it. There we go. Correct answer. And the time taken is zero point zero one seconds, and our given time limit is one second. So that's fine. All right, guys. If you have any doubts, please drop it in the comment section. I'll answer them. And if you like the video, please hit the like button. It will help the channel in a, uh, in a lot of ways. And uh, if you li uh, like the video and you want some, if you know someone who needs help in these kind of problems, please share it with them. If you think it will help them. and subscribe if you want to see more of this content thank you take care